Hey, what's going on guys? Just going to do quite a bit of testing and I'm sure I'm going to mangle a lot of this. Uh, this is going to be different. Um, Wing Fighter did put out a huge update uh, yesterday and there is a lot of things that are great about this uh, and a couple of things got nerfed. A lot of stuff got pumped up. I think all of us uh, have seen a big increase uh, to our Titan and to the Legion boss. Finally, thank you, Wing Fighter, for making us feel like we're winning. And uh, a couple of little quirky things here. Um, I do have a good friend, uh, Tech, in the game. He's a literally a wizard at this. And, you know, uh, we bounce ideas off. And he gave me a couple ideas uh, to put maybe into this video. But he brought up a point that... Uh, when you're arming your drones that you do see a 10 percent increase now to your main weapons and i'll show you how we can maybe see how we can uh, ensure that that's true um it's a little tough to do so if i get a little caught up on it i'm not going to uh, take too much time but i'll show you guys how you can test it yourselves uh, when you arm the drone the drones are rocking it and um, sometimes it's hard to get your other weapons to show that right away. So I don't want to waste a ton of time on it, but I'll show you guys uh, what you can do. Um, I know for a fact that the Phantom has been nerfed. Uh, again, Tech actually brought that to my attention a couple days ago. I put a video up a little while ago stating is Phantom nerfed because Phantom was beating Conqueror with the Kraken and now uh, it's the opposite. Uh, the Conquer is beating Phantom now with the update. And, you know, there's a couple of things that, that uh, have changed. Actually, quite a bit of things that have changed. That's what's tough about this game, guys, is they're constantly updating it, constantly nerfing something, constantly making something else more powerful. Just when we have a little grasp on it, it's, it's changing. The numbers are changing. And um, I'm not a huge numbers guy just due to the fact the numbers are constantly changing. I just want to see an increase or a decrease or is this working or it's not working. And that's kind of where my videos uh, come into play. Are we seeing a difference? And so here is uh, Phantom. I'll use this here in a second and we'll go back to that. But uh, here are the drones. I have no drones in. And if you guys look, attack zero hp zero but here's something that i found kind of weird go to your attributes and what does it say Twenty five thousand thirty. what in the world is that number no explanation no so going back to the numbers uh what is going on with this so no big deals but the reason why i have it at zero right now was to kind of show you that little weird thing that i found and also to come and let's see if we can see what some of the numbers are doing off of the weapons. So, so 148.937. So there are the missiles hitting 394, 145, 13. So, right there, we can see what this is doing. So, 148.9, um, just in short here. So, if we go and put the drones on, we should see a 10% increase to that. So, I'm going to pause this. But, again, guys, putting those drones on and trying to get that to do it because the drones are rocking it out right now. A lot better than I even expected, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so if I go back to my drones here, I'm going to put my burning drones on. And so here's the other little quirky thing about this, okay? I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but here's my attack, my HP. You guys can see the numbers there. So 12186, basically, for the attack. If I go to uh, attack now, it says 12995, and my HP seems to be a little bit higher. So let me go back out of that. Look at that. So, what? Okay. So, anyways, again, I'm not going to try to wrap my head around it. I'm not going to even try to do the math on it or anything. Um, just a little 
again going back to numbers how do we know the numbers are correct how do we i mean what is that, that all about there's no explanation so i'm just gonna leave that alone guys and so just kind of the quirky stuff that i kind of see myself that maybe others aren't seeing and i'm not even really trying to see it is the crazy part so but let's go back and do the same thing now again guys this is, might be a little tough because the drones uh little shock wave but we should see an increase from 148 in, in just short. I just, it's kind of how I do my stuff here, guys, so bear with me. So we have the drones. But look at the drones rocking right there. But it looked like it said one, uh, one, Five three right before I uh, finish the level. Yeah, so those drones are rocking it out, guys, and it's making it really difficult now. But you can see what those drones are doing here. But on that one ship, it said one six on the ship at the top there. But we do see, and I don't want to pick one of these critical attack enhance. I mean, this is just going to raise that. So not a very good, but if you guys rewind this video, you will see uh, the weapons are increased now by arming the drones. And you guys can kind of play around with this yourself. Disarm your drone, uh, you know, go into a mission, check it, and then put your drones on. And you guys can see the actual increase now. So... Um, yeah, pretty cool, and, you know, big ups to Tech for bringing that to my attention, but look how these drones are, they're just rocking, I can't even do a test right now, I mean, these, these, these drones are just rocking it, let me see. Yeah, my missiles are getting to it before I can even... I mean, everything is just cleared off of the stage before I can even. I mean, just absolutely obliterating this uh, level here. But you guys are getting the idea of uh, basically how you guys can run uh, some of your own tests here. But yes, there is uh, a 10% increase in... Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't really show you this, guys. Like I said, when you put those drones on, I mean, it's just rocking it out. But you guys know how to do this now, and I'm going to leave this part of it alone. I already told you guys that was going to be tough to do. <laughs> so um, let's get out of here. But I thought it would be a cool little thing to show you guys, and uh, big ups to uh, Tech again for bringing that to my attention and giving me an idea and us now an idea how you can check that yourself so and you know there's a lot of other stuff i want to talk about here guys uh again uh, they did nerf uh phantom we do see a pretty major increase to the titan i just put a video up of that uh earlier today guys of my titan run uh, with uh, Phantom and I think the Phantom uh, got 1.3 and the Conqueror finally got a 1.5. I was averaging maybe about a 1.2 and since this last update um, I've gotten several billion or excuse me trillions uh, no billions added to uh, basically my score which I'm super happy about. It seems like a lot of the players a lot of my teammates were you know super ecstatic that they finally saw a higher score so again um, it looks like wing fighter has heard the pleas of why did you uh, make us feel like we're losing so again I'm glad to see that increase and maybe we can talk about planet wars and quite a few different things and strategies especially for some of the new guys here um, or even medium guys and maybe what's important uh, to a degree what can you look out for and maybe I can make a couple examples just real quick out of this and let me go back to my drones here 
maybe we can do some and again I kind of do these shows on the fly too guys so uh, bear with me sometimes it's not a perfect structure or you know I'm kind of fly by the seat of my pants on some of this but why don't we take these drones off and I'm going to show you guys especially some of the newer players and players not uh, understanding this so much and I'm going to go to my technology and I'm going to show you guys my technology I know what this is my general play like if I'm going to do missions right now um, and I'm doing my Titan this is kind of my Titan technology right here guys and you might be thinking why are you showing us your Titan technology if we're talking about Planet Wars and so your technology is incredibly important uh, to set up for what you're doing your t uh, Titan and your Legion bosses are going to be completely different sometimes you can have a ground Legion boss you can have an aerial Legion boss we can have an aerial uh, Titan we can have a ground Titan and everything is uber important to uh, set up right depending on what you're doing can it be a little time consuming is there a generalized tech that everybody's using um, yes and maybe no it just depends on what high score if you're really trying to beat that player if you really want to do better in legion boss you know there is different ways to do this and so right now i have my titan uh technology set on here and i'm going to leave it on there on purpose i'm going to use this as an example what can happen and why your technology is important and so um we are in planet wars we're playing against uh, other players and so your gym setup is absolutely important. If, I mean, if we're playing against players, what are they? They're aerial enemies. If you don't have this aerial enemy uh, gym on, you are going to regret it completely. So if, here, here's what we're going to do. Even go even further here. I'm going to remove and just act like I don't have any aerial. I've got the wrong uh, tech on, basically. And I'm going to go into Planet Wars thinking I'm... I'm just going to go, you know, beat people. So, uh, I did contact Justine a couple days ago and I said, hey, I'm going to put you in my video. Uh, this is a good time that maybe I can do some testing and, you know, just help some of the other players out, maybe explain some of this. And uh, she was super cool about it. And let me tell you what, guys, uh, she is an incredible player. And that's a, a, a reason why she's sitting on this uh, P4. She has an uh, incredible setup. And I don't even know if I can beat her. But I don't really want to beat her because I kind of want to do this uh, uh, testing with you guys. And let you see a couple things. And also, let's go to me real quick. And I also want to bring up some other things here, guys. Uh, let me get out of this for two seconds okay and I guess I could have stayed there but so look at my base power guys without drones without my gems without look at my base power so your base power is really what counts that's really the backbone of what type of player you are the drones um, can help uh, tremendously in a lot of different ways but let me give everybody a reminder that you can and I've used this analogy before you can put on your Superman Halloween costume with the drones buff yourself up to I can almost get up to uh, a three million but let me tell you what that doesn't mean anything that means nothing um, some of the players call it soft power um, to me it's kind of like no power in some rights especially before the update um but don't let these numbers fool you don't go around thinking that you're a big gigantic player unless you have a good backbone strip your drones down and what do you have what pilots do you have what gyms do you have and that's going to separate uh you from the other players is knowing how to set this up better having the right pilots uh again your gyms that is incredibly important and for me maybe just as important or more important than the drones and you heard me say it out loud just uh period so don't let that base power uh 
or the drone power uh, make you feel stronger than you really are. And you guys do not forget about your pilots. Um, huge tip. The pilots are extremely important and I'm going to show you guys. And uh, Justine's a great example of how I'm going to just look at her, give you guys some examples. And so I have no gems on. I got a really bad technology, guys. <laughs> well, not bad, bad technology for Titan, but a bad technology for me going in here thinking I'm going to go beat a whole bunch of players. Okay. So I'm going to use Justine here and I'm going to attack her. I want you guys to see what happens. Look. I mean, it's not even. I mean, it's not even close. That technology is the wrong technology. I don't have gems in. And so let's go back to looking at me real quick here. And so I don't have any drones on, guys. And uh, you can see my main gun attack. You can see my wing gun attack. You can see my missile attack. And again, I don't have any, I don't have any gems on. So you saw what happened. I kind of got my butt kit. I mean, I mean, I got devastated. So let's go back to the gyms real quick here. And I'm going to embed my aerial gyms back in just by themselves for a second. Now let's use this as another example here, guys. Uh, so I'm going to go back. And let's go back to me now. We're gonna go view and look. Look at this, guys. Uh, it look at my main attack went up. Um, my everything basically just went up, um, except for I think my missile attack uh, is pretty close. Well, uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, close to the same. But my main gun attack did go up and. So those are extremely important uh, to have, especially in Planet Wars. And if I go and view Justine here, we can compare attributes here, get an idea of where we're at base-wise. Because again, I don't have any drones on. Uh, can we see a different difference with the drones? Can we uh, uh, see what's going on here? But let me give you guys a little tip here. So when I go to her, one of my big things that I look for is uh, obviously going to be the physical defense, physical uh, defense break, energy break, and energy defense. So if I'm comparing her and I look at mine and I'm a little bit smaller than she is in those, automatically what that means is she has uh, uh, more pilots and even possibly better pilots. So right there is showing that she is a stronger base power, not drone guys, base power for base power. She has a better setup than I do, um, uh, hands down. So, and yeah, she beats me across the board here, um, basically with the pilots. And I know for a fact she has a couple of pilots that I don't. And so that right there is going to be a major, major factor into who's going to win this match regardless of the drones uh that's a pretty big telltale of what's going to happen here and so if i go down you know we have uh our missile attack rates uh pretty much equal and you can see uh she's uh, uh yep we're uh, 20 hit rate together i do beat her with dodge uh and that's with the dodge gems and um, you can see here damage against aerial enemies look at that just stomping me there and why is that happening for one my technology is a disaster for this and so damage reduction you can see right there my t uh, my uh, technology is a disaster right now and so right down here damage against players increase damage uh, received from players reduction um, right there is a good indication that she has uh, way better pilots. Uh, she has uh, uh, a better pilot system. And right there is going to be a pretty big determining factor right now 
of why she is going to be able to beat me and um just about every time and i like i said um i might not be able to beat her and i don't think i can beat her and that's why i wanted to use her for one you know um i'm not going out and just slaughtering other players uh for these videos and you know just uh kind of being mean to make a video so i really appreciate her uh letting us use her for this example so hopefully that helps you guys just a little bit into just looking at uh somebody first but we can look at her drones and you can see she has defender uh she has uh sr drones there and an in drone but that in drone is all the way maxed and um she has a little ways to go, but does that really matter? Are the drones really that significant between the SR and the Ns and the Rs? I mean, if she has a fully upgraded in uh, recoil uh, drone there, um, that's still going to be pretty powerful, guys. I mean, it, it really is. So, but you know we can kind of compare apples to oranges uh this way before we even get into uh any altercations but one of the big things right now is is what my technology so i'm going to go to setup of course you guys should know that you can have different setups uh with your technology i think this one is uh aerial uh legion boss with no defense and then i have a ground uh, Legion boss one no defense then I have my general kind of play and then my Titan and then this is my star scramble and my uh, planet wars so I am going to load this one up and so the way I always know is because look what happened reduced damage from aerial enemies is a hundred percent and increase damage against aerial enemies so i always know that this is my planet wars because what are we doing we're fighting against uh enemies uh aerial enemies uh which are the other players and of course you want to max those out just period guys um don't even out the board don't you know this is a really big tip if you're not doing this you know if you're having success great if you guys uh, have a tip for me please leave a comment but I have not found a better way to do this and then uh, the other big one for me is the armor base here a hundred percent and then I'll take the rest of my stuff I always want to do uh, my critical rates on my missile and my critical rates on uh, basically my main gun uh, the base uh, power is absolutely pretty crucial you know you can kind of play around with this but uh i know that this is my uh planet wars uh setup here so if we go back here to planet wars let's take a look at me now again so um you can see that my stats went up just a tiny bit here but uh, if I go over to Justine now and I view and con uh, compare attributes, you're going to see that uh, damage against aerial enemies for me went way up. The damage reduction now is at 90% uh, percent versus her 91%. Um, everything else stayed the same because uh, the bottom two, she does have better pilot pilots uh, in place here or more pilots. So uh right there alone is how you guys can kind of gauge this a little bit but i was able to raise uh basically the damage against aerial just what i was showing because i put it 100 percent and damage reduction at 100 percent. so right there is the biggest change uh by doing your technology the right way here so um and what we can do let's just attack her and see what happens am i going to completely be demolished like i was the first time I have my aerial gems in now, and I have a better technology with no drones. So what is going to happen? Let's see. Yeah, still getting spanked, but not even nearly 
you can sh uh, see her recoil is working good. You can see her health bouncing back up with the drones that she has in. She has her recoils in, and uh, that's pretty tough to beat right there, guys. But you can see I didn't completely, utterly get smashed like I did the first time because I had a better technology, and um, I had my aerial gems in. So now we can step this up a little bit here and let's add some of my drones uh, back in here. Now you can see my attack went up, HP went up, you can go back to the attributes and you can see a lot of stuff went up and you can see my base power now jumped all the way up to 269 or uh, 2,000,000 uh, 697 uh, uh, in base power here so uh, 2.6 almost 2.7 let's just say it that way and then uh, let's go back now to Planet Wars and let's see what happened here so now look here guys so this is a way that you can tell that your drones just beefed you up. So I basically was 15 on the main gun, uh, 16 uh, uh, on the uh, wing gun. The missile attack was basically 17. And now look at this now. So um, my HP uh, went way up and now my base power went up, but again, Again, careful with the drones. And we're still doing some testing. And with the update, the drones did make us a lot more powerful. And so hopefully that is equaling out what that base power looks like. I know a couple days ago, it was, again, what I call the Superman Halloween costume. So, but um, is Justine going to kick the crap out of us again? More than likely. Um, again, she's got a really killer setup here, guys. But... Um, let's now see if I'm able to hang with her a little bit now. So you can see her recoils are just going off. And um, I was a little bit more powerful. Hung with her just a little bit more. And we can go to the battle records here in a little bit. But let's do another one with the uh, these drones. Let's just say, hey, why aren't you using the hard rock and why aren't you using... So now we'll step it up even another notch. So let's do a conquer now. Now look what happened. My base power went way up. And so let's go back over to Planet Wars here. And now since we've been doing some of this stuff let's compare attributes now so you can see everything went up now guys now that i'm in the conquer and she's in her hard rock um you can see my again my main gun attack went way up with the drones attached uh wing gun went way up my missiles went way up and so um right there i'm stepping it up in levels here to show you guys is it important to have the right setup yes 5000 percent is absolutely important so you've seen me uh go in there acting like i you know making mistakes I, I just don't know i don't know about the gyms i don't know about my technology i don't know um to put the right ship on and so i've been doing this in little stages here showing you guys you know if you don't have the right setup you're 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 not going to beat these players and you're going to have a bad time you're going to wonder why um, you're getting smacked around all the time and so hopefully this helps you guys out a little bit but now I have my uh, conquer on and so let's go ahead and attack her and see what happens uh oh looks like maybe somebody might have let's see here it looks like oh Godzilla took her out and now I can't use her in the rest of the demonstration here. Yep, I guess he just wanted that planet, and uh, that's okay. And so, but you guys are getting a good idea of 
how this is working do we see an increase are we seeing uh the drones actually working and the answer is uh absolutely yes and so you know i don't want to just go and start attacking a whole bunch of people i had this set up uh pretty well here with justine and there was another really big player on here there he is there's wing i don't want wing to maybe wing is tough enough where he's at to where I can continue this. So maybe we'll use him as the next examples. And so again, let's go ahead and attack Wang and see what happens here. And so not bad. Uh, you know, he's got his recoils on and are the recoils the most important part of this with the drones now? And obviously you guys are seeing it is, I mean, it's almost to a degree to me, even with the update that it's almost making the other drones obsolete and whoever has the recoil set up the right way, um, is generally on the drone side of the battle going to win. And so you can see, I was pretty comparable with him on the main gun. I was pretty comparable. Uh, his missile was doing a little bit better than mine. And yeah, his uh, drones, because of the recoil, you can see the power that uh, he's getting out of it. My burning actually was beating the recoil, but again, he was... Uh, he was getting, uh, l look at his HP uh, restoration. I mean, he almost got, uh, there's 92,000. I mean, that's 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 hard to beat. If I'm not getting any of my HP back and I've got these uh, really powerful burning uh, drones on, but I'm not getting anything back out of this. I mean, it's only obvious what's happening here that the recoils are, you know, kind of smothering these other drones. <laughs> And so, let me see if we can go back and take this just a little bit further and further now. Maybe I can use him now and let's adjust the formation. And I'm going to show you guys maybe a little trick here. Because I know I've done this several times. That... Um, if I just reset everything here, and I'm going to do this for the sake of the game here, guys, just to just show you. If I reset it all at one time, it's going to take me a million years to readjust this to my drone. So I will do this one at a time. And you know what? Let's just, we'll, we'll go down the line here. And let's just do basically the electric drones and see what the big difference is. So again, I will come in here and I'll do these one at a time. Not to bore you guys, uh, but just to maybe give you a tip on how I do this. And then we'll go back to this last one. We'll auto upgrade it. Now adjust formation. Now, one of the big things that you guys, you know, if you start maxing out and if you had an end drone, and you have it maxed out uh, with, I think it's the set, you can get a max HP of 100,000. So even though this is some of my more powerful drones by stars, it is not my most powerful. The burning drones were actually, even though they're lower in star and lower in combination, and I'll show you guys, my burning drones were more effective on hp and also the attack and so that has me scratching my head what the heck is that when you can see at the top there uh, my electric drones um, are pretty dang powerful but when we go back here look at my hp and my attack so that always has me kind of scratching my head if wing fighter has this correct because right there 
it seems like there's a huge imbalance between the burning and electric and the burning drones um way under uh, starred and technically powered is more powerful so not really quite sure why the math is or how the math is on that but that is just kind of weird uh to me but you can see i actually kind of downgraded by going to the electric but um you know the different drones depending on what fighters they're using versus what fighters i'm using um you know could have a pretty big impact on if the electric is way more powerful than we're actually giving it credit depending on if we're going against energy or physical with it so but let's go back to weighing um i was testing on him a, a, a couple times here and i think he got a little mad at me a little while ago and um i didn't mean to upset you wing <laughs> so uh let's go ahead and compare his attributes with uh my attributes here and he's a pretty big player here and so but you can see his hp especially uh uh with those recoils and you can see because i'm in my conquer my weapons are a little bit stronger his missile attack uh is up there so that means he probably has uh uh awakened missile uh pilots just by me just looking at it that's what would be my guess and going back to how you guys can just start looking at uh players and seeing so physical defense so he has a couple of more pilots than i do um but energy defense uh and that could be give or take two um depending on what pilots he actually has some of them have more energy some have but initially he does have a couple of extra pilots over me um i can just tell by reading that dodge rate um i have a better dodge rate and uh hit rate which means um uh i do have a better pilot or awakened pilot basically uh uh than he does and again you can just kind of go down this list a little bit right here guys damage against aerial enemies um uh we're pretty even on that but right here his tech is horrible on the damage reduction or maybe he just doesn't have the right pilots or but right there is kind of telling me what's going on but right here at the very bottom is telling me we're pretty equal on the uh the pilot side on the damage against players increase and the damage received from players so going back to me just speaking out loud what i'm saying to myself when i'm trying to wrap my head around another player hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit but let's go back to wing and um i've got my electric drones on and so you can see right here i mean he has a maxed out uh sr uh drone there and that's pretty dang impressive as a matter of fact it looks like he has gone past with his left flank so he's got a massive uh drone uh collection here so um that's pretty dang impressive so but let's go ahead and go back and let's just see what happens here guys let's give him an attack but you can see his recoils are working here yep did you see that he got a really huge spike on the critical there so we'll go to the battle record here and so let's see what was working but look at my main gun um my wing gun was beating him. My missiles were beating him. My armor was actually beating him. And again, it was the recoil because the recoil was basically taking what I'm throwing at him. And I was kind of killing myself with my setup here. But my left flank drone is pretty comparable um, to his uh, defender drone. And so left flank and yeah right here i mean his right flank was doing a little bit better than mine and you can see his recoil i didn't get any any of that for using basically 
uh, my electric whatsoever. And again, I can go in there. There might be a couple things that you can do, though. Um, I might have a pretty weak setup. I might not have uh, any shields on my electric. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've really gone over those that much. Um, but you can set up some shields. Uh, you can do a couple of things to beef these up. But right here, again, just kind of looking, you know, doing apples to apples here. But right there, look at this recoil and then his restore HP. I mean, of course he was going to win that. So just going back to the recoil uh, drones here, I mean, that's kind of where it's at. I mean, I hate to say it again, it's just kind of almost a little bit, well, yeah, it's kind of, to me, making some of these other drones almost obsolete uh, in this case here. And I hate to say that, and I was hoping with the updates that, so before the update yesterday, my burning drone was beating just about everybody then when they gave the update yesterday or yesterday coming into today they buffed a lot of this stuff and you know some players have said uh gruss has uh been really modified it uh high and so a lot of players are kind of upset about that saying well we need to go uh get the gruss and you know, there's just a lot of stuff that just keeps changing. And every time we have a down packed, um, just something else throws a, a, a curveball at us. But I know yesterday before the update, man, those burning drones were kicking some tail. And now they're, you know, they're doing good and stuff, but they, they, they can't really compete against the recoil. And then you got to also look at it this way. I mean, recoil. So that's kind of meaning that your stuff is bouncing off of them and bouncing back at you. And, you know, the one thing that was kind of weird to me in saying that, and you think about this, and there needs to be a little bit more testing on it, possibly. I mean, if somebody is that high in recoil, would it be smart to not have your best weapons on so that it's not recoiling your best weapons back at you, so to speak? I know that kind of sounds weird in how I'm saying that, but... And it was just food for thought for me. And I do speak out loud a lot, guys. So bear with me. But, you know, um, there's got to be a little balance to this recoil, especially with the other drones. If the other players, uh, if, if Wing Fighter wants us to buy into the drones and uh, it, it like the drones. But as of right now, I mean, there's nothing holding me to really wanting to use the other drones here um, other than recoil so let's go back to the drones i'm going to bore you guys a little bit more here um let's do this here guys i'll just do it in front of you guys why not so i'm going to do it the same way and you know like i said guys if you don't do this you just reset them all at one time you are going to be here forever clicking like you were on your technology without having so this is kind of my little secret tip here to how i do these and to be honest i probably wouldn't do it a lot anyways because the recoils i would probably just use mainly recoils maybe if i'm doing the titan maybe i'd switch this around a little bit um but let me see here. Let me reset this here, guys. So Wang has some serious upgraded uh, recoils going on. But again, the drones completely don't mean who's going to win, guys. You need a good gym setup and you need those pilots. Those pilots, do not forget about your pilots. I tell you what, I've got about all of them that I want to awaken. Um, but don't forget about those pilots, guys. I mean, that can be a huge factor, again, in physical defense. And that has a huge, huge, huge uh probability who's going to win it isn't completely about the drone so don't get too sucked into that idea you know wing's got a, a really killer setup on his uh on his drones but is that everything 
and I have to say no. So let me take these out and we'll put the recoils in real quick and we'll test these ones out real fast here. Okay, but again, they're not as strong as my uh, burning drones. My burning drone HP was 77,000 uh, basically and my attack was higher. So, and these are SR uh, drones. And so now you have to start asking yourself is it more important to have the 100,000 hp by using an n drone or even an r drone than it is an sr drone that's not showing us uh basically uh the power that we can get out of a little bit cheaper basically and what i mean uh, by that is uh, uh basically you know uh buying into them with here so buying into them, so right there, there's a hundred guard uh, with basically, I'm just going to call it the coin right now, guys. And so is it better to do that? Um, yeah, it's just kind of, I'm still on the fence about the whole entire thing here. And again, sometimes I see uh, some of the players with good drones and then they're getting beat really badly. And then I see some that don't have that great of a drone set up and they're beating the bigger players with so there's still a lot of testing and still a lot of questions and still a lot of uh you know what ifs and again when the game's constantly changing and buffing and raising nobody actually has all the real answers to this yet and so there's you know just going to be continual testing and test and test and test and you know i guess that's why i'm sitting here uh blabbing on here about it but let's go back and see mr wing here and i am just gonna attack him now and see what happens with my recoil boy that made it a match there when i put that recoil on guys there you guys go um you know again i hate to say it again the recoil kind of makes the other uh it's it's making the other drones almost obsolete but um you can see he's a 3.2 player with his drones and i am let's go back and and so i am a 2.8 and when i strip my drones down guys i'm basically a We'll just say a two, four, five uh, player. And so you just saw, I don't have the drone power that he does. I don't have, but I, what did I have? I had a little bit better pilots. I probably have a little bit better gems than he does. And um, I had a little bit better of a technology setup. And so... Uh, right there is a great example, and I know he's going to be mad at me. He's going to retaliate. I promise you guys right now. I think he thinks I'm picking on him. <laughs> I actually didn't want to beat him, but I'm kind of glad that I did in front of you guys, just proving to you, you know, you have to have a good setup. You have to have a little bit more of a better grasp on your technology and your gems. And I know I've said this a hundred times in this video already, but it is incredibly important. But uh you know pretty cool video just giving you guys go out and do your own test i'd like to do i kind of wish i wouldn't have beat him because i kind of wanted to mix match some of my drones just to see you know what the power was and i probably should have did the battle record on him but i didn't really need to at this point um i think the point was proven that guys uh you know your setup is everything um, just pay attention to what you're doing. Take a look at the other guys or a uh, girl's number or the player's number numbers. And, you know, you can kind of start determining again, how I was showing you, do they have a better pilot setup if their, you know, physical break and their energy is way higher. I mean, you know, they have the other pilots and then you can go back down to the bottom there and, and, and check also, but you know, you can start adjusting a little bit accordingly to that. Um, but right here, you can see, I don't even have, uh, half 
of the drone power that Wing did. Um, he has an incredible drone, but again, his little setup, I think, you know, his, what was the damage received? That was a part of his technology, and I just know he doesn't have anything in it, and I don't think he realizes how important that is and why a, such a small player compared to him is beating him, and he's got to be scratching his head, and so that's why I was able to beat him. Um, I guarantee if he would switch his technology around, especially with the drone setup, he would be really tough to beat um, at this point, but really cool video for you guys just to maybe get a little bit better of a grasp on you know what's going on here how can we see did we see the drones increase our weapons yeah yeah we did and again uh in the beginning there you guys can go to your mission strip your drones down get a base put your drones on you'll be able to see that 10 percent so and again we can also see uh our titan and our legion boss they finally let us feel like we're winning so good job on uh a wing fighter's part i'm sure they're going to mess a bunch of stuff up i'm sure they're going to buff a bunch of stuff a bunch of stuff down and it's going to be continual guys um so we just need to keep testing um i think that they need to figure out a different way with the recoil versus uh the other drones i know one last time my burning drones were kicking everybody's tail and uh, even the ones with the recoil, it was even beating the recoil, guys. And now uh, that they did the update, it just made those drone drones obsolete. I was excited to figure out that the burning were working that great. And now they aren't really doing anything. And so it's not that they're not doing anything, but it's recoil. And so as of right now, if anybody's asking me, what are the best, what are the best uh, drones? Go after your recoils, guys. And again, uh, the more stars that you have it on on your N and R uh, uh, drones, on your recoils, the higher your HP and your attack. So, you know, maybe it is smarter at this point in time to, you know, go after those drones first and then work your way into the SRs. But you just saw what happened. You just saw what happened, guys. So, um, you know, again, I really appreciate you guys. This is a little bit longer of a video. Uh, than I uh, anticipated, but shoot, I mean, when you're having fun, uh, keep having fun, right? And that's always how I end the videos. Uh, I really appreciate all you guys' support. If you guys noticed anything or just said something wrong or you have an addition, you know, feel free to chime in. Again, there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff that I'm, you know, just trying to cover uh, uh, in a general basis. But, you know, I love all you guys' comments. Um, I love all you smart players out there that come in and, you know, uh, chime in and, you know, uh, uh, tell us uh, your theories and uh, different things like that. Um, and, you know, I just really appreciate it. Just having a good time. And I'll say it last but least, uh, guys, if you're playing this game, just have fun.